they introduced the report like this. We, the members of this grand jury, need you to hear this. We know some of you have heard some of it before. There have been other reports about child sex abuse within the Catholic Church, but never on this scale. For many of us, those earlier stories happened somewhere else, someplace away. Now we know the truth. It happened everywhere. They go on, we are sick over all the crimes that will go unpunished and uncompensated. This report is our only recourse. For Pennsylvania State Representative Mark Rossi, a Democrat from Berks County, this report is a reckoning. In 884 pages, the grand jury details an estimated 300 Roman Catholic priests molested more than 1,000 children. The report covered six dioceses, including Allentown. We spoke with Representative Rossi at length about the abuse he endured at the hands of Father Edward Graff while he was a student in the Reading area. Well, you know, when you're born and raised within the Catholic Church, you are, you know, you're supposed to trust the priest. You know, he is that godly figure and, you know, to be able to spend time around the priest was like a, a treat. Like, you know, when my parents were like, oh, Father Graff wants to spend time with you, that's great. You know, it's, it, you have another older figure from the church that, you know, people look up to and it's like, you get, that's, you know, it's a great thing for you, you know, go spend time with him. You know, they didn't know he was a monster. The grand jury report details the many allegations of molestation and rape against the now deceased priest. Rossi's own story is difficult to hear. The day, that Friday morning when we were having Friday morning mass and I was sitting with my eighth grade class and the whole church was packed packed with the congregation, you stopped saying, you know, your homily and walked down the middle of the church screaming at somebody. You stopped at my pew and you pointed me out and I was shocked. I was like, why are you stopping here yelling at me? And he was telling me, you, you got to stop talking, you need to behave. And I tell people, that's the day he got me. Because after that, I would have done anything for Father Graf to show him that I was this good kid. And when the Mass was over, my teacher made me wait and go up and talk to him. And when I got up to him, he put his arm around me and told me everything's going to be all right. That I'm going to have to do some work around the church and that, you know, we'll work on things and make sure that I get on the right path. I didn't know that right path was taking me up to his room, plying me with alcohol, showing me pornography, getting my pants off, taking pictures of my penis so he can chart my growth, you know, and then ultimately raping me in the shower. I didn't know that was part of my religion. The grand jury subpoenaed and reviewed over half a million documents provided by the various dioceses. The grand jury concluded that, quote, the repeating pattern of the bishop's behavior left us with no doubt that even decades ago, the church understood that the problem was prevalent. They continued, the bishops weren't just aware of what was going on, they were immersed in it, and they went to great lengths to keep it secret. The secrecy helped spread the disease. The Diocese of Allentown Bishop Alfred Schlert responded strongly to the report. He condemned past behavior and vowed to protect children from abuse. Abuse is abhorrent and has no place in the church. Many of the incidents date back decades and the offending priests either are no longer in active ministry or are deceased. Our first priority is keeping our children safe. For the past 15 years, the Diocese of Allentown has had a policy of zero tolerance. For victims like Rossi, the bishop's comments are too little, too late. And then when you, you know, this report comes out and then you hear the bishops, especially the Allentown bishops saying, well, we can learn from this. Learn from this? You had a hundred years to learn what you're doing and all you've been doing is being culpable for covering up child sex abuse. How about you start taking accountability? Under Pennsylvania law today, victims of child sexual abuse have until age 30 to file civilly and until age 50 to pursue criminal charges. Rossi is pushing to change this. He says he wants to put predators and victims on the same playing field. He aims to eliminate the criminal statute of limitations and create a two-year, quote, civil window for victims who suffered abuse as children to now file lawsuits. As a 13-year-old boy, do you think I knew what a statute of limitations was? That 
you know, you're, 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 you're being raped and, oh my God, my clock is ticking. I only have two years to file civilly and five years to file criminally and you're age 13. You, you're not even going to become an adult by the time you have to file. At PBS 39 headquarters in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, I'm Chloe Nouvelle. PBS 39 News Tonight.